Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how I made my monkey bread. So here I'm just showing you the ingredients that you will need and they will be all listed in the description box below. I just used a converted recipe from Pillsbury, I believe it was, so I'll leave those details below. And then I will be showing you here the items in the bowl, just the dry ingredients. Then you are going to cut up your, I was about to say donuts, biscuits into fourths. So just take each biscuit, cut it in half, and then cut those halves in half. And then I will show you what to do next. So I am adding a little more nutmeg just because I didn't like the amount that was in the bag just so you know I eyeball everything. You want to then add all of your cut donut pieces into the bag so that you can move them around and get them thoroughly coated. I will be um, dumping half my sugar out here you'll see soon. Um, don't do that. <laughs> Make sure your bag is filled so I had to go and re-up on sugar and stuff but yeah just coat the pieces non-stick spray your dish so if you're using a pan or a ceramic dish whatever you're using just apply some non-stick spray before you start to put your pieces into the dish. And now we're going to make the buttery goodness that makes monkey bread oh so tasty. So again, these uh, ingredients will be listed below, but we're going to mix that up and then we'll pour that on top of the biscuit pieces. So while the monkey bread is in the oven, we're going to make a quick glaze. You just need some plant milk, some powdered sugar, um, and you can leave it at that. But I also added maple and some vanilla, and I'm going to end up blending this because I really can't be bothered to sit here and keep stirring this up. So you'll see that coming up soon. Mm. So here is the monkey bread all steamy and fresh out of the oven. You're going to let this cool a little while. Take a butter knife and run it along the side so you can release it. This is it when it is flipped out of the dish. Looking so golden and beautiful. That one piece on the right. Yeah, I messed with it. So <laughs> I just wanted to see if it was really going to pull apart. This is it covered with the glaze and the pecans of course you do not have to add nuts that little piece that was hanging you see is missing now I ate it not gonna lie <laughs> so yeah and here is Mandy as always she is stalking me but she knows she can't come in the kitchen so she sits right there so sweetly And here it is all dressed up and ready to eat. I enjoyed it with a cup of decaf. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave any questions or comments below. Thank you so much. I'll catch you next time. Peace and love. Out.